you will see that it actually does scale. Sorry, that's my Skype, and I'm going to pause and come back. Okay, now, so if we fill the parent with both of them, it scales to the right size. So what do we really want to do? Um, now, how do we get that to sit at the top? Okay. So I'm going to delete those things first. I'm going to make another layout and put it like that. Right? I'm going to put that inside that layout. And this one, I'm going to put fill parent for the width, but wrap content for the height. And now you have to change the scale type to the right one. But make sure it stretches to the full thing. You know what? I've been away from Android too long and I can't remember how to do this. Um, matrix? Oh, this is really annoying. Well, for it to scale properly, it has to be able to be as tall as it needs to be, doesn't it? So actually... Hmm... Well, it's maybe because I'm looking at it on a tablet here. They're, they're, all these tools have changed too. I used to have real devices, I'm sure, I could reference. Now, where's the Nexus one? Google. All right. Okay, so that wasn't actually a fair test because it was on, I don't know, some random tablet or something. That works. So let me recap, and I, I'm, I'm not doing the greatest job here. We have a linear layout, right, with another linear layout. That linear layout is set to fill parent, although it isn't filling the parent. And the image view inside is fill parents so it fills the full width and then it wraps the content of the height which means that keeps it in ratio Phew. Uh, I must admit I've been distracted here by uh, a billion other projects yeah, funny how let me try and do anything when this happens anyway now for my next trick I'm gonna make um, another vertical layout and just do what we did before. Now, it's best to use a large screen, right, so you don't fall into the trap I fell into earlier on where I'm thinking, oh look, it fits perfectly. If you use something like that, 720 by like 1000 and something, then you know that it's a, a massive screen and it actually, everything is stretching. So it would work on a massive screen or a tiny screen, and that is essentially the the aim. Right, so I'm going to take that out of there and I'm going to put it after the first one. So linear layout after that one. Now, hmm, image views again. Try one of them. Um, the images are called here, so here. Right. Okay, because that one is set to full parent, it's taking over the whole thing, so we'll actually change that to wrap on it. Yeah. And this one, again, the gravity can go to center. 
is interesting because it didn't do anything this time. So let's say we want ah the classic recording a screen makes eclipse not work. Good that eclipse, isn't it? So we need a gap between these, and we need three of these in a row. Now I'm just going to copy and paste them like this. For now, just as a quick test to uh, to see what it looks like, and then when you go back, it'll make three of them for you. Right, so we do have enough gap now at the bottom for that uh, bottom banner. And would we have it if we were on a Nexus one? Well, not quite. So. We need to make these a little bit smaller, right? And what I'm going to do there to do that is just use a padding on the whole thing. Ah, which didn't actually do what I said. Oh, another comment someone said was, understand the difference between padding and margin, please, next time before you make a video. Well, don't need to be so rude about it. And I still don't understand the difference, actually. Margin? Let me try it. Let's see if it... No, no, I don't understand margin, sorry, I'm going to take me a few more videos before I understand that one. Right, I'm going to put these each in a separate layout, and that sounds ridiculous, but then hopefully the padding of that layout will allow it to shrink the button a little bit, right? So, there we are, right? If I pad this one, just say 10 dp. Let's, does it get any smaller? Yes, see, it's getting smaller, right? If I go higher, DP. Because it's crushing it inside. So, I'm going to get rid of the other two, right? And just keep this one. Set the gravity once more on here. And you may be wondering why I'm nesting things. I have a tendency to nest. But it sort of feels neat sometimes. But there, there's that problem. Eclipse is not centering it. Is that right? Or is that because... That one isn't centered. Anyway, I should save that for now. Yeah, gravity there, center, center, that should work. This clip's been silly. Oh no, maybe not. Well, now the daughter, the child has a difference, I don't know. Confusing. So, we have padding on here, or we don't actually yet, so we pad this a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. Let me pause this while I cough. Not a good thing, uh, bronchitis. Right. What does that look like? That's quite big, it seems to fit, you know, we need the gap, it's a strange thing actually. No, I'm really not doing very well here, am I, in this video. First Android back, uh, uh, GUI stuff I've done since I've come back actually, so that's, that's why I've basically forgotten. Um, Let's just go for a bit of padding on the bottom instead of trying to be smart, right? Now what happens if I just duplicate that one? Yeah, but I haven't got enough space. Why am I not getting... Why is, normally these things... They just work. I don't know why, but they work. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, I'm going to delete this. Now, my trick was going to be to do four linear layouts and use 